Thank you so much for staying with us through the break. I've got Paul Young, and he's going to talk a little bit about his book, but you're going to have to get his book to get the full story. The book is called Crossroads Reflections. Thank you, Paul Young, for joining us today. Great to be with you. And no, actually, those are two different books. One's called That's right. Crossroads One and one's Crossroads Reflections. That is correct. I, I'm so sorry. I have both of them here in front of me. Crossroads Reflection is Inspirations for Every Day of the Year. Correct. And then you have Crossroads. And you are, you sold 18 million copies of your book, The Shack. Trust so me, I, I didn't. I sold a few cases out of the back of my car. But other than that, other people have been doing this. It's awesome. Well, you get the credit for it. Yes. Real quickly, tell me what Crossroads is. Crossroads is uh, a successful guy, uh, got the world by the tail, sort of. Um, and he's, uh, he's, he's successful, as a lot, of, a lot of us are, at the cost of relationship. And he is sort of pedal to the metal, just concerned with what's in front of him, doesn't care about how his choices are. Um, devastating in the lives of others. He is, he's just enclosed himself inside of his own fortress. And, um, and so, you know, the question is, how, how does God get inside that spot? How does grace get inside there? How does transformation happen when somebody doesn't want it? And um, a lot of times we have crossroads. We have things in our lives that uh, invite us to do some self-assessment and ask some of the deeper questions, not just the question about the next success, but about who am I? And maybe who is God? And why does any of this matter? And Tony's crossroads is that he's caught right in between life in this world and the event of death inside of a coma. And there's, I get to play in that space. It's the Dickens space in Christmas Carol. It's the C.S. Lewis space in The Great Divorce. And uh, it's like, okay, we have this space. What, what can we do with it? And if you've been around anybody who's been or you've interviewed anybody with near-death experiences or coma stories, you know that there are things going on in that space that, that are beyond our uh, ability to understand or to be a part of in those moments. But Is you find any out. of you in Crossroads? Oh, yeah. There's, you know, how do you write stuff without you being in it? So, uh, yeah, the, uh, Tony's issue of belonging is definitely mine some of his narrowness of his emotional life, some of his question process, uh, definitely mine. And, uh, you know, he's more of a compilation than, um, than McKenzie in The Shack. McKenzie is m much more autobiographical directly, uh, but uh, Tony, he's still got a lot of me in him, and it's not all the good stuff. <laughs> okay. Well, Klaus Rose Reflections, what is that? It's, it is a way to think about a thought that comes out of the book. And then we did the same with the shack. So there's shack reflections and crossroad reflections. And it's a way to, okay, there's a quote, here's a response. Let it create a little space and you can hear for yourself. Whatever in the midst of what you're going through, see if this little piece has a way of connecting into your world, into your life. So. Well, I was real surprised about Crossroads Reflections because uh, usually when I get a book like that and it says inspiration, it's something that's going to uplift me. And uh, some of the things in here are really in your face. And I was real surprised about that. Well, the books I write a little bit are in your face, too. I mean, the point of teachability is not that you're just there to listen. The point of teachability is are you willing to have your paradigm challenged? You know, because you and I know... Uh, that 15 years ago we knew everything, right? <laughs> and, and, and My husband says I still do. Well, but anyway. but, but the, <laughs> what you know today is different than what it was 15 yes. years ago. And 15 years ago, at least for me, I thought I was right about everything, right? And, mm -hmm. and now I've watched all this move. So I'm very open to being in process here. And, and I think part of what Reflections does is it's in your face because these are like real questions. It's not just like let's, let's have a nice... A feel good moment only. I mean, feeling good is a good thing. But there are questions that we need to think about in terms of how we think about God and about the world and about humanity that need to be asked. And those are paradigm changing. Those things will change us from the inside. One final out. question, uh, Paul. How, what was your purpose for interweaving God in the, to your book? Well, I think everything's, I think all of life is about God. Because uh, I think everything is for, by, and through, and in Jesus. So, so I think every religious conversation is, is about God. And, and all of our lives are intertwined. 
with questions about who is God and who am I and is God good and can you trust God and who's, you know, who's Jesus and all of those things are human questions as far as I'm concerned. To me, Jesus didn't come to start a religious conversation. Jesus came to show us what it's like to be fully human and fully alive. And that's a conversation that I want to be involved in. It's the only conversation that's changed my heart. It's only on conversation worth having. Uh, William Paul Young, thank you so very much for Crossroads and Crossroads to Reflection. I'd like to let my audience know if you'd like a copy, go to ValderBBShow.com, click on Email Valder, and I'm giving away a few copies. Just put in Crossroads. I'll know what you're talking about. William Paul Young, thank you for writing these books. They're very interesting. And please come back because I know you're going to sell billions of copies uh, again. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Valder. Have a wonderful thanks. day in Texas. And blessings on your book. Blessings on you.